Hi guys, so it's been a while since I did a haul video and that's an understatement. I haven't done a haul video in like six months. Um, when I looked back, the last one I did was for my Zoya Earth Day haul. And you can believe it's not because I haven't been buying polish, it's just because I haven't had time to record any hauls. So I've kind of been trying to keep all the polish together and trying to get to a haul and for a while I thought I might just skip it and then I started getting questions about why I hadn't done a haul video lately. So I'm going to kind of start recording it in chunks and it's probably going to be a ridiculous gigantic long video but if you like hauls I hope you enjoy. If you don't like hauls stop now and come back later when I get a tutorial up. But um, most of my purchases, what I've been doing is sticking the bags inside of a bigger bag. And that is this um, really large tote that I got for free at Sally's. Was, uh, you know, like a rewards spend whatever and get this bag. So there's a bunch of polish in here. Then I have some other bags just kind of scattered around. And then I also have, from Sephora, oh, this train case, which in addition to the colors that they sent me for the introduction video, this came after that, and this is all full of Formula X polish. And, oh, that thing is heavy. Then I have some other colors laying around that at one point were in one of the bags, and then I decided to use them in a tutorial and they never made it back into the bags, so that's actually what I'm going to start with. Um, these are from at least three or four different trips, and of course, like always, I try to always shop with a coupon or with a sale, buy one, get one, or something, because otherwise nail polish can get even more expensive than it is. So I'm going to start off by showing you guys some of my OPI Liquid Sand colors and I had these all out because I was experimenting with different color combinations for this waterfall manicure that I just did. And if you haven't seen the video for that, I'll include a link down in the information box as well as an annotation. Um, if you're thinking it looks a little different, that's because I added a top coat to it so the liquid sand polishes are no longer matte. But let me show you these like half dozen, maybe a little bit more than that. Um, this is Alcatraz Rocks, and this is from the San Francisco collection. There were, I think, three liquid sands with that collection. I decided to just pick up this one. Um, then at some point, I decided I really wanted to have all of the Bond Girl colors, so over a couple trips, I picked up all of those. This is Vesper, and it's probably showing up nearly black on camera, but this is really a very deep purple, and it does actually have a little bit of sparkle to it, although it's hard to see in the bottle. This is Pussy Galore, and you're welcome to laugh like a 12-year-old when you say that name. It's a really nice, soft pink, and this is the color that I used for my breast cancer video this year. This is Tiffany Case, and honestly, I like James Bond, but most of the polishes are named after um, Bond girls in some of the older movies that I actually haven't seen, so I don't know how well these colors actually fit the character. Um, this one is not a Bond girl, but it's also a liquid sand. This is Magazine Cover Mouse. And that's from the Minnie Mouse collection, which I think were all reds and pinks. Um, back to the Bond Girls. This is Solitaire. Kind of a white or light gray with a silver glitter to it. Then this is Jinx. And this is kind of a orangey red or reddy orange. Um... You know, just to give you a quick comparison, and I'm not sure how well it'll even show on camera, 
um, Jinx is on the top and Magazine Cover Mouse is on the bottom. So you can see one is definitely more orange and one is more really red. And then the last Bond Girl, I think, is that six? Yeah, I may be confused during this video just because there's so much to go over. Um, this is Honey Rider and that is a gold liquid sand. Yes, I dropped it. No, it didn't break. Um, then I also picked up What Wizardry Is This? That's from the Oz collection. And not a liquid sand color, but I'm guessing it's a similar finish since OPI makes Nicole. Um, their textured matte glitter is called Gumdrops. And this is My Cherry Amore. And that's kind of like a fuchsia with a little bit, I don't know if you can see, of holographic glitter in there. So, I think that's that. Somewhere in those purchases, um, I also remember picking up um, OPI Black Onyx and Alpine Snow because somehow I didn't have a basic black and a white in OPI polish. Um, but I'm not sure where those are right now. So... Next is um, my most recent um, polish purchase. And I'll get these out of the bag so that I'm not crinkling while I'm talking. Um, these are from Walgreens and I saw them when I went to go pick up my prescription. Um, from the Sally Hansen Triple Shine collection. This is Draw Machine. Kind of a light purple. I'm thinking this is probably going to be a little bit sheer. And kind of along the same lines, except in turquoise, this is called Pool Party. And they had a lot of basic colors in this line, but I tried to go with some that were just at least a little bit different. Um, this is called Great White, and it's a white with a little bit of a sparkle to it. Not a glitter, just kind of a heavy, heavy shimmer. And then an actual glitter. This is Fanta C, uh, hyphenated play on words there. And that, as you can see, is a turquoise glitter. And Dream Sequins is a copper glitter. Some of the glitters in this line were um, uniform. Some were mixed sizes of glitter inside the bottle. And just to mention, sometimes I forget uh, the top comes off. So there's a regular cap underneath the um, kind of weird square top. And then I picked up these kind of flaky glitters. This is Hypnautical, which is spelled um, like nautical, like um, ocean nautical. So another play on words there. Then this is Pearly Whites. I'm thinking this may be kind of a close relation to Hidden Treasure, although, you know, I'll have to see on the nail once I uh, wear this or swatch it. It may pop different colors than it looks like in the bottle. And then this kind of greenish flaky is called Scale Up. Okay, I think this batch is like two or three Ulta bags, two or three Sally's bags, and a Target bag. But, like I said, stuff has gotten kind of mixed together, so I'm sorry I can't tell you exactly when or where I got some of these. And I don't remember the exact names of all the collections, but when I do remember, I'll let you know. And I'll try to at least keep them grouped by brand. Um, have a couple Orleys. This is teal unreal and it's a really nice deep teal cream not vampy dark but darker than a lot of the teals that I have in my collection and this is purple poodle don't know why it's a poodle 
as dogs do not come in purple, as you probably are aware. Um, but this is a nice purple with a heavy blue shimmer. Then this is Angel Rain, and you might recognize this from my blue and white water marble. This is the iridescent blue that I used in that design. And Pixie Powder, which is kind of a pinky, purple, goldy, shimmery, glittery, kind of cool, awesome thing. Um, this, I don't recall if this went with any of those. This is green with Envy, but I'd really say it's more of a teal again than a green. And then on clearance, this is High on Hope. And these are matte FX, so these are matte glitters, although they're not exactly the same kind of textured glitter as like a liquid sand or, um, you know, like Sally Hansen Sugar Coat or some of the other ones. I'm thinking that this will lay a little bit flatter just looking at the shape and size of the glitter in the bottle. This is Pink Flaky Top Coat, and Orly almost always puts their matte colors in this kind of frosty bottle. And the other one of that I got is Green Flaky Top Coat, although... Once again, this is not a green. It's teal. They need, apparently, a lesson on what's green and what's not. Um, I have a couple more of the Nicole gumdrops. This is That's What I Mint. And, God, sometimes I just I wonder who's coming up with these names. Because this is not mint. It's, it's just not. You know, I have a pretty good imagination, but I can't imagine that that's mint. Then this is Blueberry Sweet on You. And I guess I can be okay with that name, as critical as I've been being, even though blueberries are not that color in real life. Um, okay, China Glaze. No, first I'll do this Finger Paints one, because I only have one. This is You Yacht to Know Better. And it's kind of a grayed out blue with a multicolored shimmer sparkle in there. I see like, actually maybe this shimmer is actually a duochrome as I kind of roll it in the light. I'm not sure how much of that's going to come across on camera, but that's a really cool color. Um, China Glaze. I don't remember what China Glaze called this collection. These have settled just a little bit. Um, but they're similar to like the Sally Hansen fuzzy coat or the feathered nail look. Basically, it's colored bar glitter that's not sparkly um, in a couple different shades. Actually, this one does have some sparkle to it as I say that. Um, this is Flying South. And the second one that I picked up is Flock Together. I think all of China Glaze's kind had kind of bird associated names. But I just picked up those two because I do have some of the Sally Hansen ones. And so um, a lot of the brands you'll see using the same color combination. I don't need the exact same one in multiple brands when I have to pay for it. If the brands wanted to send them to me, I'd be happy to have them just to add them to my collection. Um, then I think all these next ones were the same collection, their fall collection. Um, I almost want to say it was called the Ornate Collection, but don't quote me. This is Kiss My Glass, which is a dark gray metallic. Then this is a slightly different shade of gray. This is Public Relations. And if you want to just see those side by side, not sure how much the difference shows on camera. Public Relations is the one on the bottom. Then we have Scandalous Shenanigans, which is a blue. And all these with just 
I think a couple exceptions are chromes. The collection was split kind of in half, like half were chromes and half were like shimmery, foily colors. This is Tongue and Chic. That's a teal kind of chrome metallic. And this is Don't Make Me Wine, which is kind of a, a whiny fuchsia color. And I'm just realizing somewhere around here there is one more from that collection that I picked up because I have a red that is the perfect color for a pedicure. So maybe as I go along I'll stumble across that in one of the other bags. Um, these are more of the foily, slightly more sparkly colors. This is goldy but goody. And to go with that, of course, the silver. This is Gossip Over Gimlets. And silver is a color that I really have a lot of in my collection just because it's a color, you know, you might think it looks just the same, but when you actually get it on the nail, there's so many little subtle differences, whether there's one that goes on super smooth, one that shows brush strokes, little subtle differences in the color, whether it's leaning a little bit of a browny silver or a purpley silver. So I love silver polish. I have a couple of Essies. This is The Lace Is On. And this is for the twill of it and that's a duochrome I'm hoping some of that color shift shows up on camera because that's really cool then I have some Revlons and I'm trying to remember this was a guest collection I kinda wanna say Gucci um, some high-end designer name I can say that much but I'm pretty sure Gucci um, this is Divine it's like a vampy, almost bronzed out red. Then this is rich and it's almost like a kind of greenish silver. This is one of those colors that is really hard in my opinion to describe. And I also picked up Elusive which is like a blue and teal and slightly duochrome chunky glitter. Um, I think there was one more color in this collection that I decided not to pick up, but I couldn't tell you what it was. I do know that it is still available in stores, so if you go to your local drugstore or like a Target or Walmart, keep an eye out for special displays. Then um, these are Maybelline color shows. And the Color Show line has different small collections within it, uh, different textures, different finishes. These are, yeah, these are all from the Vintage Leather collection. And I'm thinking they are, you know, going to have kind of a leathery finish to them. This is Mod Moss. It's kind of a greenish brown. And maybe if I get super close to the camera, you can see there's little glitters in there. Um, really hard to see in the bottle. I think they'll probably be easier to see actually on the nail. Then this is Classic Camel. And that's kind of the same way where you can barely, barely see those little glitters in there. This one is Lasting Lilac. And I think this may be the easiest of these to actually see what I'm talking about in there with those little kind of almost, I want to call them platelets for some reason. But hopefully you can see those in there. And then this one, which is a little bit weirdly separated, is uh, Antique Teal. And there you can see the color. If I spin it around, you can see a little bit of that weird separation on the back, but... You know, don't be afraid to shake polish if it gets separated. Most polish will separate over time. Some, you know, last a little better than others, but if you give it a good shake, it'll go right back together. Just make sure to do that, you know, a, a while before you actually want to paint your nails. You don't want to shake it and then immediately apply it on your nails. You want to give it time for 
any little bubbles to settle out and then you'll get a smoother application you won't have bubbles when you're finished so um i think that's gonna be it for today and then i will pick up where i'm leaving off tomorrow so I'm really having a hell of a time fitting in these little haul segments into my busy schedule. Um, as you can see, I've got different clothes on, I hope. Um, different manicure on. This is my teal and gold ornate holiday water marble. And depending on when I get this edited and depending on when you're watching this, it may or may not be live yet. Um, once it is, there will be an annotation as well as a link in the information box. But I decided I would do one more bag from Sally's and then I would call this the end of part one and do the rest in a separate video. So this was sometime back in the summer. Um, you may have seen the China Glaze Ombre sets. I know there's a pink one and a purple one. And I passed on both of those because I had all except for one of the colors that were included in both cases. This is the Wave Runner set. And I only had the white out of this set, which can almost always use a backup white just because I use it so often as a base color or for marbling. Um, the white, of course, is white on white. The neon yellow is Celtic or Celtic Sun depending on how you want to say it, potato, potato. The neon green is I'm with the lifeguard. And the blue, oh, I do have the blue also, but it's almost empty. The blue is frostbite. It's one of my favorite China Glaze blues. It's a very bright metallic blue. And then I also picked up quite a bit of stuff on clearance on this trip. Um... I actually have not tried any of these, but the pattern on this one really spoke to me. This is a China Glaze nail applique, and the pattern on this one is called Loophole. So once I get around to wearing these, if I ever do, I'll admit there's been stuff I've coveted and purchased and never used, I'll do a tutorial slash review of how easy they are to apply and maybe how well they wear. Also from Clearance, this is Art of Theft. This is a finger paints polish. It's a deep, vampy purple shimmer. Also finger paints. This is Sketchy. And this is really hard to tell if it's a purple or brown. But in either case, it's got a heavy gold shimmer. Then... Also, still clearance, China Glaze. This is Graffiti Glitter. It's a chunky green glitter. And I forget which collection these are, but all three of these China Glaze ones are from the same collection. This blue is Bling It On. They're all pretty chunky and have a dark base. I think it's probably like a black jellyish base from the looks of it. And then this is Scattered and Tattered. And this is a pink chunky glitter. Kind of a little, leaning a little coral. And also on clearance, I picked up three bottles of Matte Magic. This is my favorite matte top coat, hands down. And a lot of times it's unfortunately hard to find. And then not on clearance, but I wanted to pick it up because, if I recall, you know, it doesn't actually say it on here. This is uh, Twinkle Twinkle, and I believe this is Nina Ultra Pro's Matte Texture Glitter. Kind of like the Liquid Sand or the Pixie Dust colors. And I haven't tried that yet either, mainly because it's been in the bag and I kindly forgot about it. But that was that trip to Sally's. I couldn't tell you when exactly it was, but um, the ombre set may still be available online if nowhere else. Um, and I also saw they had one that was more kind of sunset colors, like reds and oranges. So I'm going to call that that.
for part one of the six months of hauls. And hopefully before Christmas I will have the time to record part two. Like I said, I have a gigantic bag full of bags and I also have my um, Formula X for Sephora train case full of polish. So part two will be as big, if not bigger, than this part one. So you have that to look forward to. I hope you enjoyed this, and as always, thanks for watching.